Hey guys, so you're probably like, whoa, what is going on here? Baby all in pieces. I, um, this baby sold on eBay and it's got a ship home today, which is not traveling very far. It's, um, traveling within California. So I've got to build the baby. So it can go home to its new mommy, which um, is a first time reborn mom. That's its body, I just threw on the bed. So it's a first time reborn mommy. Um, who is really excited to get the doll. So, anywho, sorry for my pausing there. So I thought I would put you guys in this video since it's a first-time mom I am going to sit at home with a pre-made formula bottle just because I know when I was a first-time reborn mom or first-time reborn collector however you want to say it I um for the longest time did not know how to make the bottle so I was always like how do you make the fake bottle and although she could go on YouTube and figure it out, I figured I would send her with um, a bottle. And I'm actually sending her with two pacifiers. I don't typically send my dolls home with pacifiers. Um, just to keep the cost down for you guys, I don't send them home with too many things because the more stuff they go home with the more you're gonna pay so to keep my costs fair like your doll goes home just for a um with a basic box opening but first time reborn mom and she actually paid a good amount for this doll i'm gonna send her with two pacifiers because i also know the struggles of um trying to figure out how to make a pacifier <laughs> for your doll and not quite knowing how is um sometimes tough so yeah so I have to get his limbs all whoa um filled and everything and him put together okay so here's my glass beads that's actually who I get my glass beads from is abrasive armory they have the best prices. The best. Um, I pay, basically I pay, I get 35 pounds, I pay $35. So, can't beat that. Um, I used to do business with another company and I sometimes still do business with them because sometimes I can't find this listing to buy these glass beads. But I did business with another company in um, Washington. I can't remember what their name is, but you get 25 pounds for $35. So, yeah, this one you get 35 pounds for pretty much after your shipping. So, that it's 35 pounds for, um, I think, $23. And then the shipping is... 15s or something like that it's always like 35 36 bucks so basically it's, it's pretty much a dollar a pound a dollar a pound um, when you include the shipping so it's a really good deal so I buy with them and these are recycled glass so like different colors like clear blue green brown glass and it's not super coarse and it's, but it's not super fine it's like just in the middle it almost looks like the consistency of sand actually maybe not that not that fine the sand is pretty fine <laughs> but it's a nice it's a nice coarseness super coarse there we go 
that polyfill to hold in the glass beads. And okay, so now I'm working on the body. I got the limbs all filled with glass beads. So that's taken care of. So I got my polyfill here. I'm gonna put in the glass bead. Push that down. So I was thinking recently, um, I have sold to three first time reborn moms in the last, since December, yeah. Since the beginning of December, I've sold to three first time reborn moms and I totally love that. It, I mean, not that I don't love selling to, um, <laughs> you know, veteran reborn moms. I love the experience of selling to a first time reborn mom because, well, that's their first time. And, um, you know, so it's always nice to send a doll to somebody who's never seen a doll, a reborn before. And they're just like, oh, it's so real and awesome. I was going to help you. You can help me. My back is hurting and I hurt my knee a couple times yesterday because I have. I'm um, talking to the camera. Can you what? Yeah. I told Jackie that she was going to have to build this doll. And then I came in here and I was like, eh, I'll just move the supplies where I can get them. Um, so, it's fine. And when I mean my knees hurting, like, I don't limp around the house or anything, but what it is, is, um, it goes back to being overweight. Every time I'm overweight, my body hurts so bad. Um, so you would think that I would just not do this to myself, but, you know, guys, food tastes so freaking good. It's hard to not do it to yourself. So every time I'm overweight, I... You know, I'm in a lot of pain. But my knee, like a tendon, keeps popping or, I don't know, something keeps popping. And oh my gosh, it just sends a burning sensation right up my leg. Makes me sick to my stomach, like, and I'm stuck in that position for like a couple seconds. And when we went out shopping yesterday, it happened three times. Because, of course, you know, you're like trying to kneel down to look at something. And then I think, okay, if I nail down this way, I won't, I won't hurt myself. But then when I would come back up, I would hear that pop, and it would just burn up my thigh. Oh, awful. Okay, anyway, so, but speaking of weight, we are on, we've been dieting since the first, and it's been going really good. Yesterday, I we did, what is going on here? Yesterday, I did walk over four miles so yes it's doing good we're gonna start putting some walking into our routine this week uh, more regular walking but yeah okay so now I'm just tying on the limbs this is those bodies that comes with the strings and I um I prefer the strings Jackie prefers the zip ties but I like the strings is do. Then I test it to make sure the legs aren't going to pop out. I mean, if the legs pop out, it just happens and you just squeeze the vinyl and put it back in. It's really easy to fix. It's not a big deal. It happens to all of us. So, I just have to put glass beads and polyfill in the head. And then we can do that. Oh, you'll do that? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, another way, I'm, I need a massage. Oh my gosh. I'll take you in. I'll take you in, but I won't bring it back. <laughs> Go figure, figure out a, ma a massaging place. I'll pay for it. I know, I will. <laughs> better. Then she already got about it. Don't you worry, don't you worry. I decided to make this kind of video because people say they like these kind of videos. What, Carly? Like building and packaging, I don't know. Oh. 
They like it because it's different. Or some of those people like it because they don't get to do it themselves. See his butt. Pop, pop, pop. Bring the baby's butt. I know she, you can move the legs, but I don't think they'll come out. Okay. I don't have a diaper. What happened to your diaper? I'll bring you one. I gotta cut its strings off. Cut its strings off. I know this video is gonna be kinda long, guys. Sorry. But. You know. Something, something different. Something fun. <gasps> Don't cut the body! Ain't no body! Gotta worry about that body! Alright, diapers. Diapers. Gonna put diapers on my headless body. Okay, we got Christmas light diapers. We'll just call them. He's a fancy guy. He's wearing party lights on his diaper. My Christmas lights. Party lights. This is the first baby sold in 2017. Yay! Okay, so he's no longer a headless baby. He's got his head on. He's got it all taken care of. Oh! I think I will put him in this outfit to travel home in. This little next outfit that he was photographed in for his auction. Get him dressed. Cutie. <clears throat> Probably have him wear that big old jacket too. So he can travel home all nice and warm. Oh yeah, I think that's funny. I think that's a little too much. Yeah. Probably just a little. Okay. What's going on here? There we go. Got him buttoned up. Oh, how cute! Oh, Jackie's wrapping stuff. The baby weighs five pounds one ounce. Is he going home with both of these? Yeah, with both of those. Um, I was telling them because she's a first-time reborn mom that I like to send. <clears throat> Extra things like that that they're not gonna know how to make on their own. Yeah. Yeah, that would be helpful. So he is five pounds one ounce. Five pounds one ounce. I'm filling out his uh, C O A for him. He's Cormac. Bill Donnelly. Uh, date of creation. He was made um, <coughs> 12 30, I think. He was a last year baby, but he sold this year. <laughs> oh, look at you. Born in last year. Sold this year. <clears throat> There's his COA. And just had to gloss his fingernails. I'm always like, that is the one thing. I don't know why, but I save it for last minute. Can you see me in your spot video? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Because I was sitting down and I was having a. No, like, you can see, like, this part of A here. plumber's crack. <laughs> And I was like, you're going to have to cut that out. And you're not a plumber? <laughs> and I'm not a plumber. I think I'm going to find him some little socks. I'm sure I have some socks for him. Oh my god, I lost the end of the tape on both tapes. Oh my god, you're special. I hate it. I don't know, but have fun. <laughs> you lost it. You find it. 
No, my my nails are so weak. Oh man. What kind of help are you, girl? Enough help for you. Like this is the tape is right here. Yeah, but my nails are so weak that they bend when I touch it. That's what happens when you get fake nails. And you take them off. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, I thought that was it. You're filming all this? Yeah, filming the struggles. It's real. Um, here's the box with um, peanuts in his wrap. In his. And you got the tape all messed up now. That. Not even, oh my gosh. It's like not even fully coming apart. Come on. I know. That tape sucks when it goes out. Yeah, it does. And you did it. You bad, bad girl. And you're trying to leave me. Fix it. I have to go. Oh, come on, Jake. What is going on with you in your life right now? Besides messing up my life. Okay. Got it. <laughs> fix the tape. I fixed it. All right. I don't know why she turned it that way. Okay. He is ready for his socks. Got some little Carter socks we can put on him. He has the nicest feet, this doll. They're so long and cute. I love the feet on this kid. It was like one of my favorite features. I'm like, oh my gosh, he has the most amazing feet ever. This jacket is a little big for him, but Jackie took his photos in it and um, I was like, Sometimes we use stuff for props. So I was like, are you using that as a prop or did you include that in the auction? She's like, oh no, he's going home with it. I was like, okay. It actually doesn't fit him super huge. It'll be really warm traveling home for sure. I apologize if this video is long, guys, but I thought, you know, this would be a fun thing to do with you all. Gotta get a blanket for him. I have sold so many dolls recently. I had a big old supply of blankets and now this is my last blanket. I've got to get more blankets. Because I'm, this blanket is very cute though. Look at that, giraffes. Mommy giraffe and the baby giraffe. Could be a daddy giraffe too, actually. I don't know what it is, but it could be the mommy and the baby or a daddy and the baby. Or a mom with her really short boyfriend. <laughs> I highly doubt that's the case. But, <laughs> that was funny though. Made myself laugh. Okay, here we go. We are ready to put Cormac in the box so he can go meet his new mommy. Okay. Alright. Oh, look at that. That was his face. Perfect. We'll keep him extra safe during his travels. Aww, I love this blanket. It is so cute. Love it. Kind of wish I had one for me, but they only had one. I don't know what this is. I guess that's decoration. Go over the top. All right. Right, I like to wrap my babies. Well, I no longer have any wrap. But, I have to find some all around time wrap. Okay. The baby's goodies, which help also keep the baby from moving. And then, we're just going to layer it with... Pretty shimmery stuff. Tissue paper. It, it is tissue paper. It came with the tissue paper. But it's very holographic paper. Okay. And then we just have to tape his box and he's ready to go home. Yay! Go get him on Monday. We California. 
Wasn't that an irritating town? There we go. Baby is ready to go home. Yay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And thanks so much for watching.